But you see, an impartation is a seed. Some of the things you are receiving spiritually now, it, you will need like five years to be able to nurture them into manifestation. It doesn't just come on you and then begins to manifest. Just like you don't take seed to the farm and you plant today and then you want to harvest tomorrow. I had an encounter. Benny Hinn was preaching. And when, when in, you know, I, I love Benny Hinn, you know. So he was preaching and he said, do you want the power? I said, yeah. He said, stretch forth your hand. So I stretched my hand towards the television. And he began to pray and I felt a heavy weight on my chest. It was there for like 30 minutes. This was 1990-something, remember? 95, 1995, all right? So I had the experience, and I loved it. I enjoyed it while it lasted for like 30 minutes. And then subsequently, I kept pressing in God, pressing in God, pressing in God. Then five years later, I now felt that thing I felt that time. And then the Lord now spoke to me and said, this is the healing anointing. And I knew that was what I contacted from Benny Hinn. But it took five years of consistency before the thing now became native to me. It was transferred from him as a seed. And it was my responsibility to build it, to nurture it, to fan it to flame. And in five years' time, it became a commodity that was now associated with my manifestation. Do you realize that in these five years of nurturing, the nurturing process is by saturation? Anything that depletes that saturation has already truncated the possible manifestation of that seed that you received. So if you are someone that is open to fornication, just know that there's no seed on your life that will ever reach maturity. No seed especially in these days where immorality is advertised. A pastor came on the pulpit and said, if someone preaches righteousness, suspect him. He's hiding something. If it were in those days, they, they would tie him to the stake and burn him. The demons, the whispers from the underworld have started entering into his soul. A Pentecostal preacher. May the Lord help us in the name of Jesus. It doesn't matter. Are you, are you there? Don't lose your saturation. That's your power. When you are separate, the, the, the goal of holiness is saturation, is sanctification. That's the goal of holiness. Like as I'm, I'm preaching now, I'm still operating in the anointing of a teacher. All right? Now, as we go on, the saturation will begin to increase then the office of the prophet will open. It is by saturation. Meanwhile, there were days, those years, those years ago, even if I preached for seven hours, the office of the prophet will not open. How did God add that other measure to me? He gave me a higher level of saturation that can accommodate operations in that realm. You are exactly in manifestation, you are equal to your saturation of God. If God gives you a higher level of saturation, you become conscious of things that you were not conscious of in God. Your manifestation will change. Your operations will change. So it is an, in an atmosphere of saturation that you grow and Satan has a plan to deflate, deflate your capacity, deflate you, and the instrument of deflation, the pin that will remove all is called what? I know you are, you can't say it again. <laughs> what, what's it called again? Funny. And the thing is that God will not take away all the beautiful sisters just because you have a problem. <laughs> Many of them will still be coming. So I, I, but I have the cure. 